Hey guys, it's summertime and what better way to celebrate summer than going on vacation? I know we all need it and I'll tell you what, one thing, if you're anything like me, you'd like to bring something home to remember your trip, but it can be expensive, it can be difficult to fit into your luggage, so I'm going to show you, I have 15 different DIY ideas for you and I'm going to show you how to make some of those today. Now the easiest one that I'm going to have you start with is this layered sand jar. So this should be something that you're bringing home from every trip especially a beach vacation but uh, again I have so many different um, sands in here so even some from a river from the river Thames in uh, London even so this is something that layering the sands it just gives such a cute look to your decor and then you can add on there where the locations of where you had you know, visited those locations or not um, but I like to have that memory and remember which you know there is from which time and then you know this is something that because it is so easy to do you just pop a, a water bottle with sand in your luggage to take home and it's as simple as that. Now the next one I would like to talk about is the Driftwood Mobile. This is uh, has some instructions here if you're on a cell phone just take a screenshot of that. This is a really fun one where I had collected all these pieces of wood off of the beach. You line them up in just size order and really don't need a lot of supplies for this. I had all these supplies with me on the trip because I knew I wanted to make some crafts and I'm going to show you how to do that on a smaller scale with this leftover piece that I had and this seashell. And so you take a pretty long piece of wire. I used um, this white crafting wire from Michaels. I believe it was a 27 gauge wire. And it's just from their floral department. It comes in a big roll. Um, I got it on clearance, so it was just a good price. Then when you make a loop, you put a bead on there and you wrap it really tightly around that driftwood. Now when you use your pliers, that's gonna really anchor that into place. Then just add another bead and then do that all the way down for all the pieces of the driftwood. Because it's a little bit soft when you anchor that with the pliers, it does kind of embed the wire into the driftwood so it really holds it tightly into place. And, and it just has such a nice appearance to this and it's something that's unique that it looks like absolutely something you could have bought in the store and that it would have been very expensive. With the seashell, I painted the seashell um, with a looking glass spray paint. That's the name of the spray paint and it gives a really nice sh uh, metallic shine to it. And then just finishing it off with some beads and some twisting to the wire which is a um, jewelry making technique. And it I think looks really pretty. These are both hanging in my office and my office kind of has a little bit of a lake view so it's just a nice little um, inspiration as well having these beach moments that I can look at and enjoy that memory. You have to let me know I do have like I said a lot of different ideas on here which one is your favorite leave it in the comment below. The next idea that I'm going to show you is a seashell tray. I did get a um, platter at Hobby Lobby so that I could show you um, and this one was actually $7.99 and then they were half off and so this would be a really good option because it has a lip um, and then what I did was uh, layered up the seashells and some gems now this is the tray that I used I found it at TJ Maxx but you know there might not always be available so I want to tell you about the one at Hobby Lobby as well and then what I did is I took the seashells and I drew on them with a um, permanent marker and then to make the tray functional I added resin over top of the shells and the gems now one tip I would tell you I did not know this at prior that some resin does yellow over time so I would recommend that you use a resin that is advertised not to yellow I know that art resin is supposed to be very good at, at that but the one that I used unfortunately did do some have some yellowing over time but it's still quite beautiful if you're lucky on your seashell adventure and you find a lot of shells like I did this time, I ended up getting a nice large jar, spread them out, spray some polyurethane on them, it's going to make them shiny and that make a beautiful display. Don't just throw them in the jar but kind of organize them so build them up like a Tetris puzzle and that's going to make that a really beautiful display for your home. Another idea is instead of spraying them with polyurethane, spray them with 
the uh, glow in the dark spray paint which I've done with these shells I put them in a little Bath and Body Works um, jar with a little seashell on top and look at they, how they glow at night it's so cute and I actually have that in my children's uh, room next to their bed and they enjoy that quite a bit now let's take some of those seashells and make some holiday ornaments so I took one of the uglier seashells I guess added feathers to it with some ribbon and a snowflake and made an angel wing out of that that turned out quite nice I then took one of the uh, snow globes from the Dollar Tree filled that with sand and glitter and seashells and that turned into a snow globe of seashells and then the easiest one which was really quite pretty is was a seashell wreath spray paint these seashells as you you glue them in, in, in a wreath shape pattern and it really turns out a pretty little piece the next one I was inspired by these geode crafts and I had all these different assortment of gems and beads and 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 things such some from the Dollar Tree some from a craft store and so what I did was lay out two similar shells and you know again not the most beautiful on their own but certainly when you add all the gems to them they really shine I placed you know just laying out how the beads might fit and then I um, once I had those laid out, I cut some ribbon to attach. First I applied the ribbon along the rim of the top of the seashell and on the inside. And then I took a little piece of uh, wood and I punched a hole in it so, so that I could put a, a label on that of where I got the uh, seashell from. And I actually had that little charm uh, as well that I added to it that I thought would lo look really cute. I just go along layering these in and using hot glue just until it looks like it was full and that I couldn't see the bottom of the shell anymore. These pretty little shells are from Aztec Island. Have you guys been there? That's where the horses are wild on the island. You can go there and go camping. It's pretty cool. You should check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you've been to Aztec Island. I'd like to hear if you enjoy it as well. An easy craft is to take that metallic spray paint that I was talking to you about previously. It's called Looking Glass and it's a really good paint color because it gives these uh, seashells a nice metallic and shiny uh, appearance to it. And this is a nice way to take larger seashells that you may have collected and make them look really elegant and also as a style pieces that you can use as decor in your home. And I used it on these large shells. This one I mounted to a little piece of driftwood and I use these all the time in my my house. This one here, I actually went on a trip recently with my family and had beautiful white sands, but there was barely any seashells. Up in that corner there, that was all we found, these tiny little seashells, and we really searched hard to find those. And so we ended up getting these little wooden turtles from the Dollar Tree. I gave him a paint, and then I'm going to attach these seashells to the shell of him and add maybe a little piece of sea glass just to give it a little bit of a um, more volume and I thought this was a cute way to use these seashells and to make this a, a memory for our trip because otherwise those little shells would have just got lost in all the traffic they were too small I added a little gem on the other side as a counterweight and also that would keep the turtle up in the air and then you can use this as a pick in a flower pot or just lean this up uh, against um, anything that you want but you don't even have to put the popsicle stick on it I did because I plan on putting this into a flower pot but if you have that little gem on the bottom it'll just sit up in the air nice and it can be a little paperweight for you so I've showed you quite a few beach souvenir ideas but maybe you guys are camping or you've been on a couple road trips this year so I want to give you an idea for that we use this in our RV this is a nice big uh, map that I put into the frame of a cork board and then use little pins to mark everywhere that we had gone to that's a nice way to keep your memories safe and also remember where you were at This is a fun one that some of you might not realize. The River Thames in London actually has a tide. And so when the tide goes out, it reveals these 
kind of interesting looking beaches that I'm showing you here. You can see little bone fragments, stones, pottery, and what actually is in there is artifacts as well. All these different pieces of pottery and porcelain um, are all historical time pieces that r date back even into the Roman era. And so it's really amazing if you can get down on that riverbank and find these pieces. Now this is actually something that is popular and called mudlarking. So if you've never heard of it, look it up and the next time you're in London you need to try that out. Now I'm curious if you've found shark teeth on the beach before. The best beach I have found for that is in North Carolina. And I have a pretty large collection here of different shark teeth. And put those into a snow globe. That makes them such an interesting feature to put onto a table to decorate with and just to look at and twirl that around, look at all those teeth. I found that one at, at home and um, it really is a conversation piece. I'm curious if you found shark teeth, what what beach do you find them at most frequently? Maybe you have a trip planned to a cool wine region like Napa Valley or Franschhoek. Uh, either way, this is something that is a good idea for you. When you have wine tastings or special moments, save those corks and put them into a shadow box. Now I write on my corks what the occasion was. Or you could write on there the winery or the event, the location that you went to while you were tasting that wine or who you might have shared that wine with. So there's a lot of good ways for you to take those corks and put them to good use. Now I shared with you a lot of different ideas today and I really hope that one of these is going to be something that you can bring into your home and make special for you. And I really hope that you share with me when you do. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.